Artificial intelligence is increasingly ubiquitous in our world and in our video games. At Ubisoft, developers design AI for all kinds of things. And at this year's Game Developers Conference in San Francisco, we talked to some of them about what they've been doing and what they hope to do next. To start with, let's get on the same page. What do game developers mean when they say AI? AI to me is how you make your game alive. I, I think the, the easiest way is how I explain it to my daughter. I, I make the little guys move. The, the, the real way is really we're, we're trying to give a sense of purpose to the player in that world. A lot of people think that it's a very uh, academic thing, you know, with like deep learning and lots of uh, studying university. And it's actually a very practical trade. You're trying to apply actually as little as AI as you can to get the outcome that you want. I think that's mandatory for open world games that build the world first to have uh, intelligent NPCs that can simply live in that world. As if the likes of you can stand up to Miss Thorne. So we made a really cool system to create emergence in our civilians in Watch Dogs 2. We really wanted to create what we call an anecdote factory. The idea behind this is to give the feeling that the city is really alive. The, the player just happened to see a conversation between two agents. He will make a story around it. He will like uh, imagine what could have led to this situation. All of a sudden, randomly, all these flyers end up in the neighborhood about earthquake proof your house. When you fight against an AI, it's really easy to say, oh, this guy cheats. <laughs> he knows everything about the game, so he was able to block my attack because he cheated. So we tried to um, avoid this. There is no way for a bot to do something that a player is not able to do. It's really tap into psychology and how it will per be perceived. We really want to make sure everything the AI does has an added value on the player experience. The only thing that matters in the end of the day is are the players having fun? So like even the code we're writing doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is whether the players are having fun or not. So uh, Ubisoft has really made a priority of AI. Uh, especially emergent AI or systemic AI that's uh, able to tell a story just through the AI, you know, like, uh, and you see things developing on their own. I'm getting out of here. Each player who plays Yo, sees a different kind of interaction with the AI and then see how far we can push that. Like, instead of just like 30 seconds of interaction, could you generate more of a minute or two minutes of interaction? And that something yes. that involves the player so he has an interest in it, uh, kind of a dynamic storytelling. The opportunity to talk to a virtual character and see the depth of uh, how they think, modeling a human and uh, interacting with them in meaningful ways, uh, meaningful ways, I think that's really one of the part that's, that's unexplored. How, how can we interact with an AI in, in a more meaningful manner? And I think there's some great things that, 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 that are coming along. Uh, I mean, what we see here at GDC is, a, is exhilarating and really interesting. We need to find how AI can help us create new gameplays and uh, to improve the experience of the player. And I believe like companies that will pull up the best AI or the best games using the AI in a sm the smartest way, uh, they, they definitely have the most success. To keep up with Ubisoft's advancements in AI and learn all about the games that benefit from them, subscribe to this YouTube channel and visit us at the Ubi blog.